Okay, uh, today we are going to talk about the PFWB5-30AC wireless link. Uh, this is a set of wireless links produced by Dehua, uh, and they're good for about uh, about up to about half a kilometer. There's also a 90 AC version available if you uh, are looking for longer distances, but uh, for relatively short distances, uh, these are uh, these are a good set. Um, first of all, we'll show you the contents of the box just so you know what you're getting in it. This is the actual unit itself, and contained in the box, you will also get the uh, PoE injector uh, that is used to power the uh, unit and connect it into the network. Uh, you'll get a wall mount bracket, you will get a gland and a jubilee clip for pole mount, and obviously a, a power cable as well. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're just going to demonstrate uh, connecting this unit in. Uh, the first thing you need to do, obviously, is plug in the PoE injector. Uh, one thing to note is you do need to use the included PoE injector. Uh, it's a 24 volt PoE injector, um, so you cannot use a standard PoE switch to power these. Uh, you do need to use this and uh, connect it into mains. Uh, also, on the unit here, you'll see there's two connectors. There's the LAN port and the PoE port. Uh, the LAN port is for uh, connecting the unit into the network at large or connecting it into your cameras, but it does not power anything. It's only a network, network connection. Uh, the other end, the PoE end, is the one that you actually connect into the, um, into the link itself, and that's what powers it. So that's what we're going to do right now. POE end into the port here, like that, and on the side here we should uh, shortly see we should see the unit lighting and powering up. When the lights start doing that, it is searching the network for a DHCP router uh, to pull in an IP address. Okay. As you can see there now, the uh, unit has pulled in an IP address and it is uh, operating. Uh, there's a set of six LEDs on the side of the unit. The bottom one is the green power unit and that'll light and that should be solid green at all times indicating that the unit is getting power. The green one blinking there, the second green one is the network light and that should indicate that it is connected to a network. Um, that light won't light up if it's not connected into a network. And then the other four lights here, which are currently not lighted, are uh, uh, amber lights, are the signal strength indicator lights. When you've got lights on these, it'll tell you how strong. Uh, first of all, it'll indicate that the unit is connected to uh, an access point or a, a, you know, a station. Um, and it'll tell you how strong that connection is. Uh, right now they're not on because there's no other unit powered up. We're only configuring this one first. Um, so uh, yeah, we will go over to the laptop and configure this as a station, or which is the transmitter end of the wireless links. So the first thing we want to do is configure the first wireless link as an access point. And first thing we need to do is basically find it on the system. So if we go down to the file explorer down here, uh, down the left hand side here, uh, we go into network and uh, you'll see the uh, the PFBW5 uh, here or PFWB5 in the network infrastructure here uh, as it's been discovered. Uh, if this is your first time into the network window in the file explorer, what you may find is a yellow bar along the top here uh, that says uh, that we'll be asking you whether you want to turn network discovery on. Just click on it and choose accept and then it'll find the unit there. So what we will do is we'll double click on it here and it'll take us to the logon screen and we will type in uh, the username and password which the default is admin admin and it'll log in there and it'll take us to the operating country where uh, you know you've read and agree the user agreement I'm quite sure um, and we'll select our country and hit change Okay, 
So configuring it as an access point is fairly straightforward. Uh, by the they're configured as stations, which are the transmitter end as default. So we're just going to take this. We're going to turn this into an access point and give it an IP address. And uh, the way we do that is we go to settings here at the top, and there's an operating mode here. Just click the drop down here, and you'll see the option here: access point TDMA3. Select that, and then on the left hand side, select network configuration. And you want to set the IP method to static and then just put in whatever IP address you want. It's worth pointing out that the IP range of the wireless links does not have to match the network range of your network. And uh, once you put in those details, hit save and save again. And that's basically the configuration done for the, uh, the, the access point. Uh, what we'll be doing next is uh, we'll set up uh, another wireless link uh, and we will um, configure that as a station for it to connect to. Okay, and there it is configured. Uh, no stations because we haven't got one connected in as of yet. But the IP address is, uh, is up there now and it's configured as an access point. Okay. So at this point, what we want to do is disconnect the access point from the network. Uh, so we'll disconnect the LAN connection. We'll keep the PoE in so that it's still remaining powered up, but disconnected from the network. And we'll take the LAN port, plug it into the LAN connection on the station uh, PoE injector. And then we will plug in the PoE to power this up, like so. And that'll go through the same routine as the other one. It will um, connect to the network, it will look to pull in an IP address, and then what we should hopefully see is that it will connect automatically to the access point end. Ooh. Okay, so now we will configure the station end of the unit, which is uh, it's similarly quite simple, um, but it's slightly different from the access point, so I'll just demonstrate that now. Uh, we'll start off by again going into File Explorer, and then we'll go down to Network, and uh, double click on it from here. Uh, the username and password again is admin admin. So we'll click on that. Uh, and obviously we have to select our country again. Okay. So what we will be doing is, and as you can see here, um, up here in the signal strength indicator in the top right hand corner, it's actually already connected into the access point before we've even done any kind of configuration. So um, at a push, you can get away with just doing this, but we'll be adding an, a slight bit of extra security to the unit. Um, the two things we'll be doing here, the unit by default is already configured as a station out of the box. So we won't need to change the operating mode of it in this instance. But what we are going to do is we're going to Mac lock it to the uh, access point and so that the station will only connect to that access point that we've just set up there uh, this is a uh, very useful if you're using more than one set on a site um, uh, to, to prevent it from connecting to the wrong access point and uh, sending data where it shouldn't uh, the way that you do that is down here under the network SSID you'll see it's already connected in to a, a unit that's our access point uh, that it's connected to down here so what we will do is we'll copy this MAC address here. Right click copy. Then we'll go to the settings page again. And under the network SSID down here, you'll see a little cog down here. It'll take you to some extra settings. And where it says lock AP by MAC address, tick that option and then paste in the MAC address that you uh, copied from the previous page. And hit done. And then all that's left to be done at this point is to give this one a different IP address. So we'll click again, click down to network configuration, click into static, and then just give it an IP address here of 2.201.2.1, and then we hit save. And then after that saves, that is the station configured as well. And that station will only connect to that access point. And 
And if we look over here, this is the access point here. And this is not connected to the network at all. It's only connected to it wirelessly. So all this data is being transmitted wirelessly. So we know that it's working. Uh, you can see up here that it's got one station connected. Um, on this unit here, you can see that it's connected. It's, it's very, very strong because we're, we've got them on the bench. Um, so they're showing up as too strong. Um, but um, once you put them out on the, in the field, uh, that, 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 that'll, that'll switch around. Uh, and that is basically it. And that's how you configure a, a set of Dahua wireless links.